Okay, here we go again. The harvesting season for sugar beets is short but intense. It's a race against time where the smallest delay can result in spoiled produce. Go Propels! Go Propels! Lucky for us, these guys and their machines are up to the task. Join me for an unbeatable episode of Mighty Jobs, powered by Volvo Penta. So you'll never guess where we are this time. Welcome to Bavaria, the free state of southern Germany, well known for its scenic beauty, small medieval towns, and vibrant cities. It's home to Oktoberfest and the fairy tale esque Neuschwanstein Castle. But the touristing will have to wait, because we're here to find out just what it takes to feed our sweet tooth. Many people assume that all white sugar comes from the sugar cane, but actually, about 20% of the world's supply comes from the sugar beet. While sugarcane grows only in tropical climates, the sugar beet can grow in colder regions. Today I've been promised a ride in one of the world's largest and most advanced sugar beet harvesters, courtesy of our amazing operator, Werner Hofbauer. Now that is the biggest sugar beet harvester I've ever seen. Yeah? I mean, it's the only sugar beet harvester I've ever seen, but still. You want to go for a ride? Uh, yes. Tiger 6S is one of the most powerful machines of its kind, invented and manufactured by the family-owned company Ropa. It's powered by a Volvo Penta D16 engine initially designed for this harvester. Sugar beet harvesting used to be very labor-intensive. It took a lot of workers and horse-drawn carriages to do this work. Back then, 30 workers could harvest 100 tons per day. With the Tiger, you can harvest 100 tons per hour. It takes six or seven sugar beets to produce just one kilogram of sugar. And the average person consumes about 17 kilograms of sugar per year. Luckily, this plant's a real multitasker. All parts of it can be used. For example, to produce molasses, bioethanol, biomethane, fertilizer, bioplastics, and animal feed. I've been with Ropa for 30 years. My father was also in, in Ropa company. Oh, it's a family it's a affair. <laughs> yes. What do you love about your job? Oh, I think nearly everything. There is no day like the other one. Each day is different and it's very nice to work with these massive machines. So, you know, it's almost lunchtime. What would happen if I just ate one of these? Not even on a salad? No. Now, it's no accident that we came to Bavaria, because this is actually the home turf of Ropa, the creators of the Tiger 6S and many other machines. I've been promised a tour by none other than the daughter of the founder, Hermann Peintner, and one of the Tiger's designers, Carolyn. So come in, I show you my creative space. It's uh, the old attic. Oh. My grand-grandfather built this house and we still work here at the same farm. Wow. I'm not really a farm girl anymore. <laughs> I do the designing for the tiger and all other products that we produce. So this is where the magic happens. Yeah, I don't know if it's magic. It but looks yeah. like it. It's hard work, but we try to do magic. So you're designing the logos and everything. Yeah, it's always try and error, try and error. Right. Maybe cats. you're a big inspiration for me. The next version of the tiger. How oh, cute. I, I think it's a dog now. <laughs> Stripes. Then you know it's a tiger. Is this going to show up on the machine next time? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I can't it's wait. It's a really good idea. It's the Mighty, Mighty Jobs, Jobs tiger. tiger. This is our assembly hall. Here we have to put almost 15,000 parts together oh to drive a whole tiger. Let's have a look to the engine. Now we will install it. It's very big from the ground. That you have to lift it up with the crane. Like you to want try. me to do it? Yes, do oh. it. And you just told me how expensive this is? Yeah. Great. Yes. yes. Oh. Oh. I'm doing it. It's going up. How much does this weigh? 3,000 3, kilos. Oh, just 3,000. Hopefully, we have good insurance. Very carefully, yeah. There's no pressure. This is OK. You can do this. I can do it. <laughs> very smooth. Very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Very, I didn't very know slowly. there were speeds. There's so much 
pressure. <laughs> this is the stressful part. Or, or, more, or, okay. <laughs> you did a great job. <laughs> I mean, is it really in there? <laughs> yes. You guys are so patient. <laughs> So it must have felt really amazing for you the first time you saw one of these that you designed rolling out of here. Yeah, I'm always very happy when I see a complete tiger, <laughs> even when it's all over the world, that are little babies. And <laughs> when you see them in China, I think, oh my goodness, my little babies are so far away now. <laughs> so this is, what is this? The gearbox. Attaches to the very important engine, the heart. The heart of the tiger, yeah. That could be a song. So I have heard that this engine was initially designed with this harvester in mind. It certainly was. Different strokes for different folks. All machines have different requirements. That's why Volvo Penta works closely with our customer to secure the best configuration for their specific needs. Through close collaboration, we work together with our customers around the world with everything from predicting performance, application integration, rigorous testing, to verification and continuous improvements. Once the machine is up and running, we have also ensured a Volvo Penta service dealer ready to support for maximized uptime. Thank you so much for showing me around today and giving me a behind the scenes look at the work and people behind the machines. I think it's time for me to head back to the hotel and hit the sauna. I'm not sure about that. I think Verne has another idea. Hello! Hi Lizzie, are you ready for driving this? Um, I was born ready. Let's do this. Okay, here we go again! That was an appropriate speed. Uh, <laughs> a little bit more, but yeah, it's okay. Look how straight I'm going. Yes, but uh, autopilot does his job. You don't need to tell them that. You cut that out. We're harvesting sugar beets. Yeah. And they're just going in there. How much do we have to harvest tonight? Around 1,000 tons. I think I'm going to need a coffee. The harvesting season usually starts mid-September or early October and needs to be finished fast before the soil freezes. That's why Werner and his colleagues are at this day and night. Weather can be a challenge because you can't harvest when the soil is too wet, so every second counts. Ooh, look at those beets coming out fast. That's around 30 tons. Do you think that I'm good enough that you might want to hire me to do this job? Maybe for the office. What? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Go profile, go profile. So one of the action cams outside fell off. Werner's gone into the back to see if we harvested an action cam. Let's see, I got it. What? <laughs> it's still working! It's still working! <laughs> Sorry about that, everyone. Not a bad haul, eh? Not bad at all. I know there's still a few hours left to this shift, but I'm gonna leave the rest to you because I'm beat. Beat? Never mind. Thank you so much for today. The next time I'm putting some sugar in my tea, I'm gonna raise my cup to you guys plowing the way over here. Thanks also to you. It was a pleasure to be with you and to have a ride. Oh, thanks so much. Up top. Woo! All right, catch you later. Seriously? We said a thousand tons. Oh man.